R&B singer R. Kelly has now turned himself in to the Chicago Police Department on 10, 10 aggravated sexual abuse charges. Aisha's at, at the bridge with the new details. Yeah, Ron, so we just got this video into the newsroom. This is R. Kelly leaving his studio, headed to turn himself in just hours after a judge issued that arrest warrant. Now, we do understand here in this case that the attorney representing at least two of those victims here says that they are confident that R. Kelly will be convicted. The day of reckoning has come for R. Kelly. Uh, he will he will not survive this. Uh, the evidence is significant. Uh, it is uh, insurmountable. Mm -hmm. And I'd be very surprised uh, if after he is convicted, if he ever walks uh, another day free. All right, so the grand jury indictment here this time around it listed four victims in this case. Three of them were allegedly under the age of 17 at the time this all allegedly happened here in this case. Hope Ford has been following this case and Hope, we know that these rumors in this case has seemed to lingered on for years now, but you're talking to people really close and have a lot invested in seeing this thing through. Oh yeah, Kenyette Tisha Barnes, who is one of the co-founders of the hashtag Mute R. Kelly movement that we've been seeing for a long time. She said that today was really a culmination of years of work. Now, we all remember back in 2008, um, most people remember that, a jury acquitting R. Kelly back then. There was a video allegedly of an underage girl, but in that case, Kelly and the girl depicted in the video both denied it was him and her. And Barnes says this time there's more evidence and a bigger spotlight on the singer's character. I think what was different in 2008 that we don't see now is that there isn't this groundswell of just activism against him, and there isn't this sort of movement of people that are saying enough is enough. When there's smoke, there's fire. So we're, we're optimistic that this time it's going to stick, and um, he's going to see the inside of a prison cell. And uh, Barnes hopes the charges in Chicago lead to more charges in other cases, including Georgia, where allegations of Kelly sexually abusing girls goes back to 2017. All right, so Kelly is expected in court tomorrow for a bond hearing. Be sure to stick with 11alive.com for the very latest updates on that. Natisha.